How's it doing today guys? It is Mad Bad here with the first gameplay for Infinite Warfare. So this will be more like of a review for the game from me. Yeah, I didn't want to add the face cam and I think it would have been a little too distracting for me to try and give an honest opinion of the game. So what you're seeing here is the, literally the first day gameplay while I'm trying to set up my graphics and controls and the options and all that and trying to get it lined up. It's hard to get it perfect, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's hard to get it perfect, but it takes some time to set up on PC. The game plays that you're going to see, I just kept it simple. I just used the same weapon called the ERAD, and it's in the SMG class, but it's actually more like a, well it is, it shoots the blue plasma cells, lasers, bullets, whatever you want to call it. And so this review is coming from a guy who played the very first Call of Duty from day one on PC. Now name your favorite YouTuber that can say that. So yeah, I have a lot of experience playing Call of Duty. You heard it here first. Now the first thing I want to talk about is that the net code is very good, I noticed. Um, <laughs> I know probably some people will disagree with me, but I haven't noticed any issues so far. But keep in mind, this is just my first day playing it, so we'll see about that in the future. But it's not like I died before I ran around a corner, you know what I'm saying. Uh, for the most part, pretty solid. It has a good frame rate, but I don't like that they capped it at 91 FPS. I don't know why they felt the need to do that, because I have a 144 hertz monitor. And uh, for Black Ops 3, you might hear me uh, make some comparisons to Black Ops 3, like Advanced Warfare throughout this, just because those were the last two developed by Sledgehammer Games and then Treyarch. And so yeah, the third uh, developer in rotation is, this one was developed by Infinity Ward. I believe the one they did before this was Ghosts, which I don't know why Ghosts got so much hate, but like I thought it was fine. People just love to hate on stuff. So yeah, it would have been nice if they would have unlocked the frame rate, but it is what it is. The movement feels very similar to Black Ops 3, it's pretty smooth and um, the one thing though is that, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I felt like I had to press the shift key a lot more in Black Ops 3 to keep running, uh, sprinting, you know. But in this one, I, I guess they automated that, you can say, and you don't need to press run that as much. So it's hard for me to I keep on tapping it and then it's slowing me down. I'm going to have to get used to the new movement a little bit. But overall, um, I mean, obviously you'll notice the specialist thing. I don't even, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the claw, actually. It's pretty overpowered, but I guess all of them are that way, so to speak. But it seems like if you're coming up against a specialist, you just have no chance. In Black Ops 3, it seems you have a little bit of a chance, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? But the specialist, uh, I still have to yet to try out some more. And then the graphics. I do like nice graphics. It's not like a, you know, like a game changer for me because... You'll see I upload CSGO content on this channel here. So it's not just like, you know, I'm not going to touch it just because it has bad graphics. But this being the latest Call of Duty that they released, I expected it to be somewhat good. I feel like the games these days haven't made much progression. Maybe I should just speak for COD alone. I feel like since Advanced Warfare, we haven't moved forward that much graphically. If you go back and watch the PC Advanced Warfare gameplays, they're just, they look kind of similar. And not that this one's bad, I mean, I, I can't make better graphics than this game here, it looks excellent actually. But, I mean, since Advanced Warfare it kind of just stayed the same. Black Ops 3, the thing about Black Ops 3 is I feel like they really put heavy saturation in the colors and the graphics in that game. Like, look at Nuketown for example, it's just insane with the saturation. Um, just an ex extreme example, but they had really nice maps in Black Ops 3, like I can't knock it. It'll do though, like I'll take it for real. Other than that, I don't have much to complain about or cry about. Pretty solid game so far overall. I want to try a lot more of the different weapons. I only got to test this one SMG out. I really want to see how the snipers are because I've been watching some other peeps upload some sniping gameplay and um, it looks like it'll be pretty good. I think the quick scoping is not as solid it, it looks like as the Black Ops 3, but that has yet to be seen. You know, hopefully I can do some work with the uh, quick scoping on this one. Another thing I will say too is that the time to kill seems really quick. You can just lay a couple bullets into someone and then they're instantly dead. And the same with me. 
and it's a very fast gameplay in general. But it's rough, man. I mean, one thing I will say as well is that I don't like how they have to come out with a new Call of Duty every single year because just as I learn and I feel like I get really comfortable with the previous title, they launch the new one because it's the cash cow, you know what I'm saying? But um, you got to keep moving, keep up with the new content. I think this one's a solid one. I do know of another YouTuber called Kenworth. It seems that he refuses to upload any of the any more of the Infinite Warfare. I don't know why he's being like a little girl about it. It's time to man up, Kenny, and stop uploading that Black Ops 3, son. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I guess Kenny's just gonna live in the past forever. It's cool. He might even go back to Black Ops 2 and 1. <laughs> if you're on the fence whether or not you should pick up the game Infinite Warfare, I would say definitely get it. It's a must have in your library. And here's to another year of grinding out the new COD. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you pick up Infinite Warfare and I'll see you in game. And I'll catch you guys next time.